Well, hey friends, my name is Jake Thurston and uh, this is a video just covering our story for why we are choosing to plant a church in Vermilion, South Dakota. Uh, this really goes back three, four years ago when I was finishing up my ministry studies at Indiana Wesleyan University and I was looking for a residency placement uh, as kind of the last little bit of my program to finish up my master's degree and to pair that with an apprenticeship residency somewhere at a church. And I stumbled across this church called The Ransom in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, I interviewed with those pastors and that staff, visited the town, visited, visited the church and just fell in love with it and knew this is where I needed to be. So uh, summer of 2016, I moved out to South Dakota from my longtime home of Indiana and began a two year journey of just discovering myself and how the Lord has made me, uh, both as a person and as a pastor. Uh, it was an incredible season of just self discovery and ministry growth in my own life. And after those two years were done, I was hired on full time as a connections pastor at the Ransom, which eventually led to some more discipleship responsibilities down the road there. So for about three and a half years, I was at the Ransom Church as a pastor. I got organized in 2018, which was also the summer where I met my now wife, uh, Casey Burgers, uh, now Casey Thurston. We dated and got married in March of 2019. So things were just moving along really, really well. Uh, and three months into our marriage, in July of 2019, I get a call from uh, the director of the program that I had gone through at Indiana Western University saying that they had started a brand new position for this program to go and train pastors and to work in the university. And I've always wondered, is that uh, an area of ministry that I could see myself going in, you know, to work at an academic institution, specifically in training pastors and teaching theology and those things. I have a huge passion for that. So, uh, after lots of prayer and wrestling and a lot of conversations with our mentors, we decided to go for it. We sold our house and moved to Indiana, back to uh, a school that I find so near and dear to my heart. And we began this new journey. Um, and of course, 2020, several months later, hits. We moved in October of 2019. And then five months later, we found ourselves in the middle of a pandemic um, we're really reorienting, reorienting ourselves to a whole new area. Um, and I had an incredibly low point in my life. Um, I have struggled with a, lo a little bit with anxiety, but never to the point where I couldn't work. I couldn't get up in the morning. I went to bed extremely early and slept in extremely late just because I was so anxious and depressed from all the stuff that was going on. Um, I'm one of the biggest extroverts you could ever meet. So being told to stay in your house for three months straight um, was not good on me. It just really got me to an incredibly low point. On top of already wrestling with, is this where I need to be? It was my sophomore year of high school in 2009 when I got called to be a pastor in the local church. And so 2019 marked 10 years since that calling. And uh, I was having a lot of holy discontent with where things were. I loved my opportunity being back at Indiana Wesleyan. Um, but something just was not hitting my soul right. Um, and so 2020 was really the year where we were stripped of everything and really were brought down to the bare bones of our priorities and of our life. Um, and so Casey and I were at a crossroads and um, we were anticipating having our first child uh, at the beginning of the new year or towards the end of December. Um, so we were anticipating bringing in a whole new addition to our family on top of just really missing the local church, pastoring the local church. And I've had a conviction on my life to church plant um, really since 2018 was when I really wrestled with that. We were back and forth on what that looked like. And of course, we went to Indiana Wesleyan and um, learned a lot in that season. But it was the summer of 2020 where we finally decided to land on two things. Um, we needed to get back to South Dakota because being near Casey's family with uh, our daughter in the mix was a huge priority. Um, it always was, but it just became that more apparent when we were anticipating her. And for me to follow through on this dream originally of church planting um, in South Dakota, which I never thought of before. 
So we talked with a couple of other people um, about could they see us doing this? Is this a good call? Lots of affirmation. We finally talked with our district superintendent out here for the Northwest District of the Westing Church. Ran a couple of options of good towns that we could plant in that are within a one hour radius of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, which is where um, really kind of is a great hub for uh, Casey's family for us to meet. And we stumbled upon Vermilion, South Dakota. Uh, it's a small town of about 10 to 12,000 people, um, but it's also home to the University of South Dakota, the second largest university in the state. And um, man, if there was anything about our season at Indiana Wesleyan, it was confirming in me that I have a huge heart and passion for the next generation, specifically in college students and young adults. Um, and so just to learn that Vermilion could use a new expression of church, a fresh, uh, vibrant church that can really empower them and to reach that demographic that maybe uh, we could just be an extra presence in the community to go towards that demographic, right? Really lit my fire. And uh, we began praying and we took a trip out here in fall of 2020 and just were blown away by all the conversations and confirmation that we had that not only would a church plant out here work? It's needed. People said that would be awesome. We need a new church out here in Vermilion. So um, clearly the Lord is up to something here and uh, we jumped on that. And so we finished out uh, the rest of my spring semester in 2021 at Indiana Western University while we were raising our new daughter who is now six months old. She was born in December of 2020. And we moved out here at the beginning of June and uh, are full steam ahead trying to discover what is it that the Lord wants to do here in this town. Um, we are so excited. We are so nervous, uh, which is just a great place to be where we are thrilled for what God has in store and just thrust to our knees in utter dependence on what uh, he's going to do because only he can plant this thing uh, to get this started. So that's a bit of our journey and uh, we are thrilled to see what's in store. And uh, it helps when laptops can hold your phones up. So thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, here's to what's next. <laughs>